In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the X scheme in SPICE to run a circuit level simulation. I will create a new directory here. Let's name it RC circuit. Inside this new directory, I will open a terminal and run X scheme. Click on the plus icon to add a new schematic workspace. So let's save as to give it a name. I will name it RC circuit because I will create an RC circuit now. I click OK. Now we have RC circuit and the extension SCH stands for schematic. Now I want to add my components. From the tools menu, I can use insert symbol or the hotkeys. I will just insert the symbol. The choose symbol window will open. On the left, we can choose the library and on the right, we can choose the components. Most of the basic components are in the devices library, which is built into X scheme. So it is selected by default. You can search for the components using the scroll bar or the search bar. I will write res since I am searching for a resistor. This is my resistor. I can see the symbol. I click OK and can now place my resistor. To change the orientation, I will use the hotkey Alt plus R. Now I have my resistor. I will repeat the same procedure to add the other components. Tools insert symbol, but this time I will choose the capacitor. I will write cap. This is the capacitor. I will leave the orientation as is and just place it like this. Now I will use the hotkey control plus I which is for insert symbol, and it also shows the recent components. I will search for ground to put the zero voltage ground. I will place an instance here, and I can copy it as well. To copy it, I will press C on the keyboard, then move my mouse pointer and click in the new location where I want to place the capacitor symbol. Now we want to add a voltage source. I will click Control plus I again and search for V source. This is my voltage source. I click OK. I will place my voltage source and press Escape. Now I want to zoom fit my schematic. On the keyboard, I'll press F. Now I have a zoom fit. I want to add the wires. For the wires, you can use the hotkey W. I will press W on the keyboard. Before pressing W, I will put the mouse pointer in the location where I want the wire to start. I will press W and move the mouse pointer. As you can see here, I have the wire moving. When I click, the wire stops. Now I have my circuit connected. Let's maximize this window. I can zoom in and zoom out using the mouse scroll. I can select all using Control plus A, and to move, I can press M on the keyboard and then move my mouse pointer. I can see the circuit moving here. So let's place it here and press F again to do zoom fit. Now I have my circuit ready, but I need to set the properties of each component. To edit the properties, you select the component, right click and click edit attributes. The attributes are edited in the form of text. It is not a GUI. You need to write the text here. The value as we can see is one picofarad. I will leave this as is. I will not change it. Instead of right clicking, I can also use the hotkey Q. If I press Q on the keyboard, I will get the edit properties window. We can see here the value is one column. I will leave it as is. What I need to change is the voltage source. The voltage source by default is a DC voltage source with a value of three volts. What I wanna do is to create a pulse. I need to create a square wave. To know the syntax of how to create a pulse, I will go to the NGSPICE manual. Here I have the NG SPICE manual, and I will search for pulse. This is how to set the voltage and current sources, and this is how to set a pulse. 
These are the parameters that I need to put, so I will copy this. As you can see here, V1 is the initial, V2 is the pulse, and we have the delay, the rise time, and the fall time. So I will copy this and go back to my schematic. Here in the value, I will put double quotes and put my pulse here. Of course, I need to replace this text with numbers. Assume I want to use a pulse from 0 to 1 volt with a delay of 0.5 microsecond, a rise time of 100 picosecond, a fall time of 100 picosecond, a pulse width of 1 nanosecond, for example, and the period set to 2 nanosecond. I will leave the number of periods blank. These are my settings. I have a pulse with almost a 50% duty cycle in a period of 2 nanoseconds. I will click OK, and you can see the new settings I have for my voltage source. Before running the simulation, a good thing to do is to define the wire names. I will add labels for the wires. From the Tools menu, I can use Insert Wire Label or use the hotkey. I will use Alt plus R to change the orientation. I'll place labels here, click on the label, press Q on the keyboard to show the properties, and I will edit the labels here. I will name them as VIN and VOUT. By the way, NG Spice is not case sensitive, so VIN in capital letters and VIN in lowercase are exactly the same. There is no case sensitivity here. Now I have a name for these wires. Now I have my complete circuit. I need to save it. I will use the save command here, or I can use the hotkey Control plus S. Now my schematic is saved and I am ready to run my simulations. How to run the simulations? Let's see what we have. We can configure simulators and tools from the simulation menu. By default, NG Spice is selected, so I don't need to make any changes before running the simulation. I need to define the simulation command, so I will press Control plus I to insert a symbol, but this time I will choose my symbol to be code. In this code, we can write the simulation command. It can be shown where the code will be displayed in the schematic, or it can appear as a black box. I will use code, click OK, and place it here. I will edit it, and here I want to write my simulation command. Let's put this in a new line. I will remove the blah, 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 use double quotes because I will write multi-lines. I will run a transient simulation, so I will use the command.tran comma, and here I need to define the step and stop time. Let's assume that my step will be 100 picoseconds, and I want to run for five periods. Since my period is 2 nanoseconds, I will define the stop time as 10 nanoseconds. I want to save all my waveforms, so I will use the do save command and save everything. Again, you can review this in the NGSPICE manual to see how to write the transient simulation command and any other simulation command. I'll click OK. Now I have my simulation defined, zoom fit again, and now I'm ready to run my simulations. What I need to do is click netlist. This creates the netlist. If you want to review the netlist from the simulation menu, you can use edit netlist. This will show your netlist with components, the simulation command, and everything else we can see. I will close this and click simulate. This will run the simulation, and now I will use the plot command to plot the waveforms. I will plot V in and V out. And as we can see here, I have my square wave and I have my output. The blue line here is the RC circuit output. This plotting interface is a bit primitive. We can plot the waveforms using different methods. So let's try another method. I will close this, but to use the waveform viewer, I need to write the simulation results in a raw file. So let's go here to configure simulators and tools and choose NG Spice Batch. Nung Spice Batch also creates a raw file that contains the results of the simulation. I will choose accept and close. Let's save our netlist, and then I will simulate. This is Spice in batch mode. I can see the simulation is completed with no errors. It tells you that the simulation output is saved in this raw file, and any comments and warnings are in this output file. So this file contains the simulation data to view the waveforms in this file. To see the waveform graph, I can use the simulation menu. Here I can choose Add Waveform Graph. This is a waveform graph. I'll place it here. I will click F to zoom fit. OK, and I will also add a waveform reload launcher. This will load the raw file into my waveform graph. You can actually edit this text, and I will edit it with the instructions. 
You need to press Control and left click to load the simulation data. Okay, so I will save this. Control, okay, test, simulate. So I have my simulation data here. I will press the Control key and then click. Now the simulation data is loaded and I have a plus sign as we can see here. I will double click and I will have my waveforms here. So let's select five in, select five out, add them here. You can change the colors, so I can change this to be a red color. Click OK, and I need to fit the plot. So I will go here to the X axis, press F. This will fit the X scale. I can go here to the Y axis, click, press F. This will fit the Y scale. So now I have my simulation data. The nice thing here is that you don't have to open another application to view the results. Everything is inside the schematic. 